Hey, Phil here. Thanks for watching. Uh, here we have the next video in the series on the PV Mantis. I'm not sure what number we're up to, but I know that after I painted it, I really was not happy with the finish of it. Uh, the paint, it just didn't seem to flow very well, and when I wet sanded it, it just didn't seem to help any. And I decided that I would try using maybe not generic paint and actually get a nicer brand of uh, spray paint to do it. So I've got some Krylon that we're going to use for it. So what I've done is I've sanded it back down to the wood and I've started all over again. I've just got one coat of primer on it. I'm going with the gray primer and I'm actually going to go a different route with the guitar than I had originally anticipated. See, I'm finding that restoring a guitar that's not complete can be a very expensive process. To get the pick guard made it's going to be about $40 to $50. Uh, so my brother gave me some material that I'm going to try to make my own with it. And I've discovered that the bridge that I have with the guitar isn't the original bridge. And it's just going to be kind of interesting. So um, what I decided to do, instead of trying to make it look stock like in 1980s, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. And I'm going to try to do a two-color kind of job to it. So... I've got the gray primer. I'm going to put another coat of gray primer on it. I am going to paint it black and then do some masking and then paint white over it. See if I can go for a, an 80s kind of look with black and white. Anyway, keep watching. I'll keep you updated. This is Phil. Thanks.